Hello everyone, welcome to Spirit Field Sunday. So today I'm going to pull some inspirational guidance messages for the collective. These messages are not going to resonate with everyone. Just take what does, apply it, leave the rest. Also like this video, subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell in order to receive notifications when I post. You can also drop a comment below if it does resonate. I do read the comments. I enjoy reading them so let's go ahead and pull your messages so spirit give me some messages for the collective spirit field messages I have the eight of earth education focus details so I feel like for some of you I'm getting like dedication hard at work I feel like there's something that you are working on something that you are trying to build create for yourself I'm getting living this lifestyle I'm getting flourish it's like whatever it is that you're doing it is going to I heard tax bracket for some of you this is going to put you into another tax bracket this is really going to change your lifestyle for the better for some of you you may be going back to school you may be i heard learning a new a new line of study but it's like you're investing into yourself you're investing into your future i'm also getting property property owner for someone you may be owning a property i'm also getting steward I'm also getting intention. It's like whatever this is that you are doing, it's like you're being a good steward over it. You are really invested. It's like your intentions are pure when it comes to this collective. Let's go ahead and pull some more energies for you. Spirit, give me some more messages. Ooh. I have justice, fairness, the law of karma. I feel like this is definitely going to be karmic justice for you with this paying off it's like your investment is going to pay off whatever it is that you're focused on i heard like working diligently you are working diligently collective in spirit god sees it your ancestor sees it yes and it is going to be successful. This is God. I heard restore, restoration. Your life is being restored. Everything is coming back into balance. I feel like for some of you with this eight of pentacles, this is you working on yourself. This is you being dedicated to change. I'm hearing hope. I feel like having faith for a better tomorrow. I'm also getting your faith was tested. Spirit says, but you passed the test collective. And now you're getting ready to reap the rewards. Let's Let's get another message oh collective oh my goodness what a reading the sun success recognition enthusiasm yes you are definitely going to be getting a lot of attention for some of you you may do something on social media i'm also getting lead and guide i feel like you are definitely meant to be a leader, have a leadership position. For some of you, you're meant to own your own business. But it's like success is assured. You will get your just due. I'm getting the song, God's on your side. Yes, this is being orchestrated by the divine. I'm also getting divine guidance. Yes, you are being led. And then at the bottom of the deck, I have the chariot willpower victory recognition you are moving forward and we have recognition twice so you are definitely going to be recognized i'm also getting like attention to detail i feel like whatever it is that you are doing like you're really taking your time with it like this is this isn't something that you're trying to i heard like fast pace like do at a fast pace it's like you're fully dedicated like you're all in collective Let's pull some clarifiers. Spirit clarify the eight of earth. For some of you with this chariot, I feel like you're going to be getting a new car, a new vehicle. Um, with justice, if you have a court case, you're definitely going to come out the victor. I'm getting a payout. You are going to be receiving a payout. Clarifying the eight of earth is the three of swords. For some of you... You recently went through a heartache, through a disappointment, and it's like you alchemize that energy by focusing on your work, on a creative project. It's like you chose not to just, you know, dwell on the hurt, the pain. You chose to use that hurt and pain and turn it into something that is going to be beneficial to you. Let's get a message for justice.
what do I have? Oh, the two of swords. I'm getting a double-edged sword. For some of you, there may be someone gossiping, slandering, lying on you. But I feel like this judge, people are going to be able to see the truth. People are going to really be able to see this person's true intentions. You will be vindicated, whatever this is. If this is about people gossiping about you, if this is about a court case, I'm also getting a relationship for someone. There may be an individual that you were in a relationship with that's trying to make you look bad. I'm also getting a divorce. You may be going through a divorce and your ex-spouse is trying to make you look bad in front of the judge. Whatever this is, you are going to be vindicated. I'm getting a double A war so i feel like there's definitely someone spreading rumors about you there's definitely someone trying to make you appear in a bad light but it's like this justice right here this war is longer it's stronger longer and stronger than these two swords here than these two swords put together you will receive your just due let's get another message for the sun, I have the Prince of Wands, which is the Knight of Wands. Yes. Things are moving ahead. For some of you, I'm getting like this is going to be moving at a fast pace. This is coming in very quickly. I feel like this success, this recognition, I heard like goner. You're not going to see this coming. I heard like overnight. For some of you, people may think like you're an overnight sensation, but little do they know you've been working on this for a long time. Let's get a message for the chariot. I heard work smarter, not harder. <laughs> I feel like for some of you, like you've learned how to uh, adapt whatever this project this business is into the flow of your life where it's like in the beginning you may have been really overworking yourself and it's like now you've learned how to create a healthy balance spirit tell me about the chariot the emperor in the reverse yeah for some of you you may have moved on from a relationship from the emperor in the reverse somebody who was very selfish self-centered who really did not give or invest properly into the connection who held back a lot i just see you moving forward i see ever since you've left this person like your life has changed you have definitely leveled up this is definitely a new beginning for you you ended a cycle with this individual for others of you, I'm getting like with this emperor, I'm getting like, don't do it. For some of you, people didn't want you to become this emperor. Like people wanted to hold you down. Like they wanted to minimize you, minimize your efforts. But it's like you still kept moving forward. You still kept investing into yourself. Let's clarify further. Spirit, tell me more about this Three of Swords. Oh, okay. What do I have? The Hermit and the Devil in the Reverse. Yeah, you definitely retreated. You retreated, you walked away from this toxic, unhealthy energy, and you said, I'm going to focus on me. I'm going to start my business. I'm going to go back to school. I'm going to work hard on my job so that I can get a better position, higher pay. Again, you alchemize that negative energy into something positive. And that's how you healed. It's like you took time with this hermit and you reflected. You became wiser. You became more knowledgeable. Let's get a message for the Two of Swords. What do I have here? Oh my God. The Ace of Wands. You're moving forward. You are moving forward. This is going to be a new cycle for you. A new chapter. For some of you, I'm getting home. You may be moving into a new home. Home owner. I heard leasing for some of you. 
I heard building for some of you. I heard apartment. You may be owning your own apartment building. But it's like you are getting everything that you deserve in this season. Despite the confusion. Despite the conflict. It's like you're still moving forward. Despite what people say about you do to you, you're still moving forward because justice is on your side and you are being protected. I heard battle. Like God is saying, you don't have to worry about fighting your own battles because I will fight for you. Let's get a message for the Prince of Wands, the Knight of Wands. I have the Knight of Cups. Yes, for some of you, you have a new opportunity coming in. This could be an opportunity in love with this Knight of Cups. But I feel like whatever this is, this brings you a lot of emotional fulfillment. This is going to bring you a lot of happiness. And with this Knight of Wands, I feel like you're not going to see this coming. This is going to come in very quickly for you, collective. But it is going to be life changing. Let's get a message for the Emperor in the reverse. The hangman in the reverse. See, you're taking action. You're making moves. You're rising, collective. You're not letting anyone or anything hold you down. You're not staying stuck. You're not being complacent. That's what people want you to be complacent. They don't want you to be this emperor. They want you to be in the reverse. But you're saying, uh-uh, not I. I know where I want to be. I know what I want to achieve and I am moving forward. It may take me some time, but I'm going to get there. I'm going to get exactly where I need to be. I'm not holding back. Let's get some final messages for you. Spirit, give me some final messages for the collective. Final messages for the collective. What do I have? You are good enough for a moon in Virgo. Exactly. You are good enough. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. And if you're going to do it, Spirit says do it well. Know that you can do it well. You can do it better than well, collective. Because you have it within you. You have the talent. You have the gift. You can manifest the life that you want. You are good enough. You're good enough to have the relationship that you want. You're good enough to have the job that you want. You're good enough to start that business. You're good enough to go back to school. For some of you, I'm looking at her and it's like spirit is saying you are beautiful. I'm getting you are beautiful by Christina Aguilera. Somebody needs to go and listen to that song. I heard a confidence booster. It will be a confidence booster for you. Go listen to Christina Aguilera. You are beautiful. Let's get two more messages for you. Spirit, give me two more messages for the collective. <laughs> Look at God. Two messages came out. I have expect a powerful change. New moon eclipse. This change is going to change your life. Expect a powerful change. Things are going to shift completely. Your life will never go back to the way it used to be. It's like God is rewarding you for your hard work. Favor is on your side. You are entering the sun. A happy period. A moment of fulfillment. A season of fulfillment. A season of joy celebration. For some of you, you're entering... The most joyful season that you've ever experienced in your life. I'm, this is going to be a very emotional time for you. I just see you crying tears of joy. Things are going to be coming in that you would have never expected. Doors are going to be open that you thought were closed. That were never going to open for you. I heard get ahead. It's like for some of you, you're going to jump ahead of other people. It's like if you're at a company and somebody's been there for 20 years, but you come in and you've been there for a year or two, it's like you're going to get a position higher than them. Favor justice. You are favored, collective. God is about to shock you. God is rewarding you. You are blessed. God says blessings. You are going to receive a lot of blessings. 
Spirit says graduation. You have graduated collective. You've graduated into a new season of your life. Spirit says you're done with that. You're done with the past. A spirit says the hard work is over. You put in the work. Now it's time for you to celebrate. Now it's time for you to receive a powerful change, a powerful shift. It's going to stir things up for you. It's going to stir things up in your life, but in a positive way. Lastly, we have the end of a tough cycle approaches, full moon and Capricorn. Exactly. If you've been going through difficulties, challenges, working hard, feeling like you're not getting ahead, that's the end of that cycle. It's closing out. There's going to be a powerful shift in your life. The hard times are over. You've been through enough. You've learned enough and not to say that you're never going to have your ups and downs in life because that's not realistic. But this tough season here, everything that you've been through, I heard months, for some of you, you've been going through a difficult season for months, is closing. 1010, I saw last week on the clock. The cycle is done. It's over. Now it's time for you to enter into this season. A powerful shift is happening and you don't even see it. Spirit says, do you recognize it? Spirit says that you may not be able to understand it, but it's going to impact you forever. God says, I understand you. God says, I understand you. Spirit says, others, don't worry about other people not getting you. Don't worry about not fitting in. You know, everybody can't go. You're meant for a higher purpose. You're meant to go by yourself. God says, I will bless you by yourself. <laughs> you don't need other people around you to be blessed. I will bless you alone. And they will see the favor over your life. They will see how special you are to me. Don't worry about it. You're meant to be different. You're meant to stand out. You're destined for a higher calling, collective. Spirit says you are special. Spirit says, child, ever since you were a child, you were special. Even in your mother's womb, you were special. You are chosen, not called, but you are chosen. A chosen one. I heard a star seed. You are chosen. An earth angel, you are chosen. Chosen for greatness. And it's here. And everybody's going to see it. So collective, these are your messages. I hope they resonate. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.